but I am back and today I am going to be doing my very first empties video or products I've used up, whichever you know it by the best. Um, these have become my new favorite type of video to watch. I just think that it's the most accurate uh, representation of whether you've really liked a product, if something's worked for you, um, because you've given it, you know, the time to actually do what it's supposed to do. And so I love watching these videos. So we're going to jump right in. Um, I have quite a few things. Some of these things are like from the last month. And then I have some stuff that I've just like accumulated over, I don't know, three or four months. So um, it may seem like I have a lot of duplicates of certain like types of products. But again, that's just because like I've used stuff up and repurchased new things and then just never film the videos. So here you have it. So the first um, set of products that I have are the uh, John Frieda Brilliant Brunette. And this is the uh, shampoo and conditioner. This is the Liquid Shine Illuminating Conditioner and the Liquid Shine Illuminating Shampoo. Um, and it's just supposed to be like for brunette hair and it's supposed to help with um, just gloss and shine. I really like them. Like I have super dry ends, at, which are actually like ex extra accentuated now that I have some highlights in, but um, well, we're, we're just not gonna look at that. I'm gonna hold my products right here. So I'm always looking for things that are gonna add um, like light reflection and some shine um, and moisture to my hair. And so I really like these, like I would repurchase them again. I wouldn't go out of my way to grab these, but I would use them again. The next product that I have is this Plackers Intense One Hour Whitening um, Teeth Whitening Kit. Now, I mentioned this in a video a while back when I first purchased it, and I talked about how I've used the Crest White Strips, and I know those work, and they're great. Um, I just can't get over, like, the price. Like, they're so expensive, and I know you don't have to do it, like, constantly, but you do have to kind of upkeep, like, every so often you have to do them. So I saw these, and pretty much I was sucked in by the price. Um, I don't remember exactly what I paid for these, but I know that they were, like, under 30 bucks. Um, I would never purchase this again. It was like the most just awkward, I don't know, it was not set up very well at all. I didn't really keep much of it because obviously that would be gross and I used it. But aside from the Crest white strips, which are basically just strips that just adhere to your teeth and just go about your business and then you take them off and you're done, this not so much. So basically what you get is you get a tray for your upper teeth and then a tray for your bottom teeth but the tray is like made out of like styrofoam or something i don't even know but it's like the most awkward maybe it's just my mouth or my teeth but it's like the most awkward teeth tray like i've ever used and i just couldn't get it to stay in place it was like moving around my entire mouth and so then the like little gel that was in the tray i ended up getting it everywhere you know, like when you get some of that stuff because it's like so you know harsh i guess um i actually burned some of my gums so i don't know it, it just it was not now i know why it cost what it did and i will not be repurchasing this i will definitely go back to my trusty crest white strips okay the next product i have is a body wash and this is the naturally you lemon tea cleansing shower gel and I bought this mostly because it's like an all natural um, you know free of uh, parabens and all that kind of yucky stuff it's actually 90 98 percent natural and um, so I wanted to give it a shot and it was on sale as well to be honest. Um, so I got this one and I actually got another scent that I still have um, in the shower and it's like pomegranate and something. Um, and I like these. What I really liked about this one is the smell is like insane. Um, this is great to use like first thing in the morning if you're showering in the morning because it's just so like invigorating and it wakes you up and it just smells like awesome. So I really really like the smell and I guess the only downside would be that it doesn't like it doesn't really lather a whole lot probably because it doesn't have like all the bad stuff in it that like helps 
it to lather. Um, it's not a big deal. Like it's not like I felt any less clean using it, but I think like you just get in the mindset of like you're waiting for like the bubbles to kind of happen and it didn't do that too much, but um, I enjoyed it. Next. <laughs> Two products that I have are deodorants. Um, the first one is my Lady Speed Stick in Strawberry Splash. This is neither here or there. It worked okay. The smell was pleasant enough. Then the other one that I have, I actually didn't use up, but I wanted to include it because I am not going to use it. Um, this is the Jason Nourishing Apricot Pure Natural deodorant stick and again I got this because I was trying to kind of go and see what I could find that was a little more natural for my skin. Now I got this one and I had high hopes and the one thing I will say about it is it smells really nice. When you put it on though you don't smell it like you smell it in the container but you don't really smell it otherwise. Yeah it smells really nice it smells like apricots um, but this did nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm like an extremely sweaty person. It's basically like one of those things where I put my deodorant on in the morning and I don't think about it the rest of the day. But when I wore this one, it was like halfway through the day, I was literally like, oh my goodness, I stink. <laughs> and I tried it for about three or four days and then that was it. Like I couldn't do it anymore because it was like getting ridiculous. So I don't know if other scents would work any differently but this was just this was a pretty big fail as far as I'm concerned it's used up next product that I have is the L'Oreal infallible uh, 16 hour foundation and I was in the shade natural buff I really like this foundation um, I actually have another one that is a darker <laughs> shade that matches me a little bit more now that I'm getting a little bit of color. Um, I liked it. This is a good foundation. It definitely does not last, you know, 16 hours. It was a good foundation and I would say it's got about medium medium coverage and it's pretty build buildable. This is where things start to get kind of crazy because it's like seriously how many of these can a person go through. This is an accumulation of products. This is not just like in the last couple of weeks. Um, I have six six mascaras like hello some of these um, I've just had and didn't toss out some of these um, I bought and I tried and then just wasn't crazy about them so I stopped using them and then it's like time to get rid of them and some of them I've used I've legitimately like you know used up so um, I'll just go through those really quick I have two CoverGirl mascaras. This one is the Lash Blast Volume, and then I have the uh, Clump Crusher. I really like the Clump Crusher. It wasn't like crazy drama for my lashes, but it's a good like everyday mascara. It's not extreme and it's not dramatic. It's just kind of, you know, it separates your lashes. It just doesn't do anything like crazy to them. You know, a lot of people like this mascara. It's not really my favorite. Um, mostly because I just, I don't know, like the wand is so freaking ginormous. Like I feel, I don't know, I just I have a hard time using the wand and I'm always like getting it everywhere. So the formula is not bad. I just, the wand is just not my favorite. I have the Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume. I did not like this one at all just because it didn't do anything for me whatsoever. Then I have the Physicians Formula. I don't know what this is called. Oh, it's the Shimmer, Shimmer Strips. And what it is, it's black on one side and then it's like a deep purple on the other side. And again, it was neat having like the two colors. And I used to use the purple every once in a while. I just didn't find it did like anything actually for my lashes themselves. Then I have the Rimmel Sexy Curves Mascara which is in the purple tube. I really like this mascara. I would purchase this one again. I like the wand. It's kind of got like that bubble, bubble kind of wand. I really like it because it's like a thinner wand, which I like. The last one I have is the Maybelline Falsies Flared. When I first got this, I did not like it at all. I thought it just was clumpy and goopy and made my eyes look like a drag queen. Like it was like bad. 
I don't know, something changed in it after I had it for a little bit and then I ended up really liking it. So this is another one that I would repurchase again. Now we are entering into the world of moisturizers and again, I have a ton of them. I'll start off with some samples that I used. Um, these were samples I got when I was getting Lux box. I don't get it anymore, but I still have a ton of samples that I haven't gone through. So the first one that I tried was the Meridesso face and neck toning gel. This was really good. I liked how it felt on my skin. It's like a super lightweight moisturizer. The only thing I didn't like was the smell. I don't even know what it smells like because it's not a smell I've ever smelled before, but it was like, I don't know, not good. So for that reason, I was like, no, I don't think so. And then the next little one I tried was the Aura Lane Absolute Skin Recovery Care Cream. This was like one of those samples where I wasn't quite sure what to do with it because it like didn't really have any instructions on what to do with it. I didn't know if I was supposed to take this little thing and like put it all over my face or put it under my eyes or what. Um, it was okay, but you know. So now on to my full-sized moisturizer. The first two that I have are both by Garnier and this one is the this one is the Lift Day Cream with SPF 15. I really like um, these lotions. They smell really nice and I like having a built-in SPF in my moisturizer because then you just put it on and you're good to go. And so I really like that one and then I was also um, using the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream and in the summertime like I would use this, I, I was actually using this um, at night during the hot weather. Just kind of want something that's cool and refreshing and light and just instantly sinks into your skin. And this is the lotion to get. I love the gel formula of it. It smells really good, like cucumbery kind of. I like that kind of smell. It's just really fresh and it just really makes your skin feel awesome. And I went through um, two different Olay uh, creams the first one is the Olay Replenishing Night Cream. I, you know, it's like one of those creams where I love the smell, I love the texture, I love how they feel on my skin. I don't see like dramatic results on my skin. I just, it's a basic moisturizer. The other one that I tried was the Age Defying Anti Wrinkle Replenishing Night Cream. And to be honest with you, it kind of was exactly the same. Like I saw no difference at all. I don't think it really gave me any anti anything, but nonetheless, I enjoyed using it. And the last one that I have is the Olay. Can you tell I like the Olay? I don't know, I've just had good luck with those lotions. I really like them. Um, it's the Olay Age Defying Two-in-One Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream and Serum. I really enjoyed this too. It comes out it really is like a kind of a cream slash gel formula. And when it comes out, it almost has like, it's like a white lotion, but it almost has like an iridescence to it, which seems kind of odd. When you put it on your face, it's not like you see anything, but it almost just kind of gives you like an instant, I don't know, I wanna say glow. It's not greasy. It just kind of illuminates your skin. I really like this a lot. I would definitely go out and repurchase this. So that is it, my little, tub from Bath and Body Works is empty. If you enjoy these kinds of empties videos and you'd like me to do some more, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then A, thank you for stopping by when you don't even know who in the world I am. <laughs> and please subscribe because I would love for you to hang around and we can hang out and be buds. So I hope you guys are having a great day and thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.